Well, type 2 diabetes, just to start with, is, is different than type 1. Type 1 is where you don't really produce insulin, uh, which is the main hormone that regulates glucose, <clears throat> whereas type 2, you produce insulin, but the body is resistant to the effect of insulin. And type 2 diabetes, the main risk factor for that is obesity. Uh, by and large, about 90 to 95 percent of all diabetics are overweight or obese, and type 2 diabetes is really the most uh, prevalent form. About 90 to 95 percent of all diabetes is type 2. However, you um, don't have to be uh, overly obese. In other words, it's mainly the uh, the distribution of fat in the abdomen or visceral area that is the main risk factor for obesity uh, or for uh, type 2 diabetes. Tom Hanks, as I understand it, uh, has actually improved his diabetes with weight loss and now he's pretty slim and I think his diabetes uh, control has been improved and that's typical of most people with type 2 diabetes. When they exercise and lose weight, their uh, control of their diabetes improves. There, it's also known that uh, physical inactivity by itself can cause this syndrome of insulin resistance and predispose you toward uh, type 2 diabetes. So physical inactivity, uh, visceral fat accumulation are the two main causes of type 2 diabetes. There are also some genetic uh, susceptibility to it. So uh, some individuals are more susceptible. We don't know all the reasons for that. Well, I think that's a good point that this is going to raise the, uh, I think, the um, level of interest in type 2 diabetes. And uh, people begin, as they get older, uh, begin to lose muscle mass, begin to uh, develop visceral uh, fat accumulation. Most of us, as we get older, uh, start losing the muscle and accumulating fat in, in the visceral area. Uh, the large amount of muscle mass is what allows you to dispose of glucose after eating uh, a meal or eating a glucose heavy meal. And when you lose muscle mass, that in itself can make you, uh, make you pre-diabetic. So what we need to really think about is you know, getting screened for diabetes, getting screened for glucose uh, intolerance. Uh, there's a test, simple test, where they'll give you a glucose load uh, 75 grams of glucose orally, and then they measure your insulin levels and your glucose levels and determine how well you can dispose of that glucose. Well, I think it's great that he, that Tom Hanks has really uh, stepped forward, and David Letterman, on the David Letterman show, as I understood it, uh, also pointed out that he had trouble with glucose control. I think that this uh, uh, sort of indicates to people that you don't really have to be, yeah, really obese in order to have a risk for diabetes. Uh, diabetes now affects uh, something like 26 million people in the country, and most of them are type 2 diabetic. Uh, we used to call that adult onset diabetes, but now we're seeing this in children. So I think the fact that uh, folks like David Letterman, uh, Tom Hanks, who come out and talk about their uh, difficulty in controlling their glucose is really going to make people more aware that anyone who is physically inactive, uh, older individuals and many other individuals uh, are going to be facing the, the possibility of pre-diabetes and then later development of diabetes. And I think uh, improving our activity, reducing our visceral uh, fat is, is certainly the most uh, reliable way to prevent uh, type 2 diabetes.